History Android iOS Windows. In the vast realm of technology, three giants have emerged, shaping the way we interact with our digital world. Android, iOS, and Windows have become synonymous with smartphones, tablets, and computers, revolutionizing the way we communicate, work, and entertain ourselves. Let us embark on a journey through the rich history of these operating systems, spanning decades of innovation and evolution. Our story begins with Windows, the brainchild of Microsoft. Launched in 1985, Windows introduced a graphical user interface, GUI, that replaced the command line interface prevalent at the time. With Windows, users could navigate their computers effortlessly, opening a window to a world of possibilities. Over the years, Microsoft continued to refine and improve Windows, releasing various versions such as Windows 95, Windows XP, and Windows 7, each bringing new features and advancements. Meanwhile, in the early 2000s, a new contender emerged, iOS, developed by Apple. With the release of the first iPhone in 2007, iOS introduced a touch-based interface that revolutionized the smartphone industry. The intuitive design and seamless integration with Apple's ecosystem made iOS a force to be reckoned with. As the iPhone evolved, so did iOS, introducing features like the App Store, Siri, and FaceTime, cementing its place as a leading operating system for mobile devices. Not to be outdone, Android entered the scene in 2008, backed by Google. Initially designed for smartphones, Android quickly gained popularity due to its open-source nature, allowing manufacturers to customize and adapt the operating system to their devices. This flexibility, coupled with an ever-expanding app ecosystem, propelled Android to the top of the global market share charts. As Android grew, it expanded beyond smartphones, finding its way into tablets, smartwatches, and even televisions. As the years went by, the competition between these three operating systems intensified. Windows continued to dominate the computer market, evolving with the release of Windows 8 and later Windows 10, which brought a unified experience across different devices. iOS, on the other hand, continued to innovate with features like Touch ID, Face ID, and the introduction of the iPad, bridging the gap between smartphones and computers. Android, being the most versatile of the three, found success through collaborations with various manufacturers, offering a wide range of devices at different price points. Each operating system has its own unique strengths and weaknesses, catering to different user preferences and needs. Windows excels in productivity, offering a wide range of software and compatibility with various hardware configurations. iOS, known for its simplicity and seamless integration, provides a cohesive user experience across Apple's ecosystem. Android, with its customization options and vast app library, offers a more personalized experience for users. The evolution of these operating systems has not only influenced the technology landscape but also transformed our daily lives. From staying connected with loved ones through video calls to accessing information on the go, these operating systems have become an integral part of our modern existence. Whether you're an Android enthusiast, an iOS loyalist, or a Windows aficionado, there's no denying the impact these systems have had on our digital world. As we conclude our journey through the history of Android, iOS, and Windows, we are reminded of how far we have come in the realm of technology. These operating systems have shaped the way we communicate, work, and play, bringing us closer to a future where technology seamlessly integrates with our lives. So, Let us embrace the past, appreciate the present, and eagerly anticipate the innovations that lie ahead in the ever-evolving world of technology. Note, this article has a speaking time of approximately one hour. History of the Internet. The fascinating history of the Internet. The Internet has become an integral part of our daily lives, revolutionizing the way we communicate, access information, and conduct business. But have you ever wondered about the origins and evolution of this remarkable network? In this article, we will take a journey through the history of the Internet, from its humble beginnings to its global dominance. The birth of the ARPANET The story of the Internet begins in the late 1960s with the creation of the Advanced Research Projects Agency Network, ARPANET, by the United States Department of Defense. 
The goal of ARPANET was to build a decentralized network that could withstand a nuclear attack, ensuring uninterrupted communication between military and scientific research institutions. On October 29, 1969, the first message was sent over ARPANET, connecting the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, and the Stanford Research Institute, SHRI. This event marked the birth of the Internet, although it was still in its infancy. The TCP-IP protocol in the 1970s, the development of the Transmission Control Protocol, Internet Protocol, TCP-IP, laid the foundation for the modern Internet. TCP-IP standardized the way data was transmitted across different networks, enabling seamless communication between diverse computer systems. The birth of email and Usenet as the Internet continued to evolve, new technologies and applications emerged. In 1971, Ray Tomlinson sent the first email, revolutionizing electronic communication. This breakthrough allowed users to send messages to others on different computers, paving the way for the widespread use of email as we know it today. In the late 1970s, Usenet was created as a global discussion system, allowing users to exchange messages and files on various topics. Usenet played a crucial role in fostering online communities and sharing information on a global scale. The World Wide Web While the Internet was already growing, it was the invention of the World Wide Web by Sir Tim Berners-Lee in 1989 that truly transformed the way we navigate and access information online. The World Wide Web introduced the concept of hyperlinks, making it easier to navigate between web pages and access a vast array of content. The rise of commercialization in the 1990s, the Internet experienced a rapid expansion and commercialization. The development of user-friendly web browsers, such as Netscape Navigator and Internet Explorer, made the Internet more accessible to the general public. This led to an explosion in the number of websites and online services, fueling the growth of e-commerce and digital communication. The dot-com bubble and beyond the late 1990s saw the rise of the dot-com bubble, a speculative frenzy around Internet-based companies. While many dot-com companies failed during the subsequent crash, the Internet itself continued to thrive and evolve. With the advent of broadband internet connections in the early 2000s, the internet became faster and more reliable, enabling the widespread adoption of streaming media, online gaming, and social media platforms. The rise of smartphones and mobile internet further accelerated the internet's reach and impact, allowing people to access the web on the go. The internet today today, the internet is a global network connecting billions of devices and users worldwide. It has transformed every aspect of our lives, from how we communicate with others to how we work, learn, shop, and entertain ourselves. The Internet has also become a powerful tool for social and political activism, enabling people to share information, mobilize movements, and advocate for change. As we look to the future, the Internet is set to continue evolving, with advancements in technologies like artificial intelligence, virtual reality, and the Internet of Things poised to reshape our digital landscape once again. In conclusion, the history of the Internet is a testament to human ingenuity and the power of interconnectedness. From its humble beginnings as a military experiment to its current status as a critical infrastructure of the modern world, the Internet has come a long way. It has forever changed the way we live, work, and connect with one another, and its impact will undoubtedly continue to shape our future. Life Before Internet. Title, Life Before the Internet, Exploring a World Without Connectivity. Introduction. In today's modern era, we are surrounded by the Internet and its vast array of services. It has become an integral part of our daily lives, connecting us to information, entertainment, and people around the globe. However, it's intriguing to delve into the past and explore how people lived without the Internet. In this article, we will take a detailed look at life before the Internet, highlighting the challenges, the innovations, and the different ways people adapted to a world without digital connectivity. The Pre-Internet Era Before the advent of the Internet, people relied on various traditional means of communication, entertainment, and obtaining information. Here are some key aspects of life in the Pre-Internet Era. Communication Without instant messaging or social media platforms, people relied on landline telephones, 
letters, and face-to-face -face interactions for communication. Long-distance calls were expensive, and sending letters took days or even weeks to reach their destinations. Research and information. Researching and gathering information required visits to libraries, reading books, and consulting experts in specific fields. Encyclopedias and reference books were valuable sources of knowledge. Entertainment. Television, radio, cinema, and newspapers were the primary sources of entertainment. People gathered around the television or listened to the radio for news, shows, and music. Going to the cinema was a popular social activity. Shopping. Shopping involved physically visiting stores, browsing through catalogs, and making purchases in person. Mail-order catalogs were widely used for shopping from home. Travel and navigation. Planning trips required guidebooks, maps, and seeking advice from travel agents. Navigating unfamiliar places relied on physical maps and asking for directions from locals. Education. Education was predominantly classroom-based, with textbooks and lectures as primary learning tools. Researching for assignments involved extensive library visits and manually compiling information. Banking and finance. Managing finances involved visiting banks in person, writing checks, and using cash for transactions. Balancing checkbooks and keeping track of expenses was a manual process. Challenges and innovations. Living without the internet posed several challenges, but it also led to innovative solutions. Let's explore some notable challenges faced by people and the innovations that emerged. Limited access to information. Accessing information was time-consuming and relied on physical resources. The lack of instant access to a vast pool of knowledge made research and learning more challenging. Slow communication. Communicating with distant friends and relatives was difficult due to the reliance on postal services or expensive long-distance calls. Patience and anticipation were key in maintaining relationships. Inconvenience in transactions. Banking and shopping involved physical visits to banks and stores. Waiting in long queues and limited shopping options were common inconveniences. Limited entertainment options. Television and radio were the primary sources of entertainment, with limited channels and programming choices. People had to plan their schedules around specific shows or wait for reruns. Dependence on print media. Newspapers and magazines were relied upon for news, advertisements, and updates. Waiting for the next edition or missing out on current events were common occurrences. Travel limitations. Navigating unfamiliar places without GPS or online maps required careful planning, relying on physical maps, and asking for directions. Getting lost was a common occurrence. Slower pace of life. Without constant distractions from the digital world, people had more time for leisure activities, face-to-face -face interactions, and pursuing hobbies. Conclusion. Life before the internet was undoubtedly different. With a slower pace and reliance on traditional means of communication, information, and entertainment. While it presented challenges, it also fostered innovation and creativity. The internet has revolutionized the way we live, but it's essential to reflect on the past and appreciate the resilience and adaptability of generations who thrived without digital connectivity.